What's up, everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room, and today I have even more Jurassic World Chaos Theory toys to showcase for all of you. As you can see, I got all four of the new Danger Pack toys that were just released, so let's take a closer look at all of them and show off their scan codes so you can add all of them to your Jurassic World Facts App collection. So here are all four of the new Jurassic World Chaos Theory Danger Packs. So let's look at each one, starting with this baby Apatosaurus right here that is absolutely adorable, as all of you can see. I really like this sculpt, and I love it anytime Mattel does a baby dinosaur like this. I just think it's super cute and really cool for the collection. This one does look really nice, as all of you can see. It's got a pretty good paint job, and more than anything, I really, really like the sculpt on this figure. Now when we look at the back of the box, we don't get really anything special, but we do get a look at all of the other dinosaurs from this wave of danger packs. But again, looking at the Sapatosaurus, it is absolutely adorable. It's got a little bit of articulation for its mouth, so you can go open and close. Got some articulated legs too, so it isn't too basic of a figure, but it does look really, really nice. And now that we've actually looked at the figure, let me get that scan code for all of you so that you can add this one to your Jurassic World Facts app. There you go. But this one is one of my favorite new ones that they created, and I'm very happy to now have it in my collection. Next up, we have the Danger Pack Gallimimus. And this one looks pretty cool as well. I'm always happy when they make a new Gallimimus toy because when I remember the original Jurassic Park, the herds of them were so huge. So it's always fun to get more of them in my collection. But as you can see, it's got a decent paint job on it. Um, nothing really special. Now the head looks pretty cool with the red and everything. And it's got an articulated mouth, kind of like the Apatosaurus did, which is pretty cool. Articulated arms, but again, nothing special just kind of what you would expect from a danger pack and then when we look at the back of the box again exactly the same as the other one showcasing all of the different dinosaurs in this assortment but I will say this Gallimimus does look pretty cool and it's kind of faithful to the original colors like it was in the original Jurassic Park but at the same time it gave it a little bit of a twist and the red on the head which makes it look really really cool but now let me get that scan code for all of you so that you can add this one to your Jurassic World Facts app. Let me get that code all the way out. And then bam, there it is. Add that one to your Jurassic World Facts app. This is another really cool Danger Pack toy from the Chaos Theory line. Next, we have this really interesting Danger Pack set here that comes with two dinosaurs. It comes with the Guan Long versus Lystrosaurus, which is pretty cool. So looking at the Lystrosaurus, I think it is identical or pretty much the same to the one that came out in Jurassic World Dominion. So there's nothing too special about it, but it is still a really cool figure. So I'm not really complaining. Now, when it comes to the Guan Long, this one is pretty cool looking. It looks like it's got some feathers on it and everything, which I really, really like. And it's got an articulated mouth, so it can kind of chomp too, which is really, really cool. It's got a decent paint job i mean there's really not much paint the head paint looks pretty good as y'all can see and the only paint on the body is right here across its torso so there's not really much to the paint job but the sculpt and everything of this figure does look really really cool now looking at the back of the box of course it's exactly the same as the other ones that we looked at but still doesn't hurt to look and then looking at them again i do think this is a pretty cool set um, I like how it comes with two dinosaurs instead of one, even though they're a little smaller. I wish Mattel would do this more often because um, I think it is really, really cool. But now that we've taken a pretty good look at these, let me get that scan code for all of you for this Guan Long so that you can add this one to your collection. There you go. And I would give the scan code of the Lystrosaurus, but it is facing the opposite direction towards the box. But I would assume that it is the same scan code as the one that came for Dominion. So y'all probably already have it in your Jurassic World Fact App collection anyways. 
Now the last new danger pack figure here is the Velociraptor and I believe this one is a complete repackage from literally the wave right before which is a little weird I'm not quite sure why Mattel would do that but knowing me I'm a completionist and I like to collect everything so I went ahead and picked it up but again it is a pretty cool Raptor um, this is like the same attack pack Raptor that we've gotten many many times just with a little bit of a repaint but the red paint does look pretty cool on it then when we look at the back of the box again exactly the same as we've been seeing through this whole video but again looking at the raptor i mean it still looks cool but i don't think there's any difference at all between this raptor and the one that came in the wave right before it for the first wave of epic evolution but i actually do have that other red raptor so why don't we go ahead and compare the two and see if i can find any sort of difference so here we are with the new one and the old one, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I don't see any sort of difference here. Um, it does look, you know, exactly the same, so I'm not quite sure what to think about it. I mean, I wish they wouldn't do this as often. I wish they would just give us another figure, but again, I'm a completionist. I try to collect everything, so I'm not gonna complain. When we look at the back of the boxes, I mean, they almost look identical as well. It's literally just the difference of the waves. So yes, these are a complete repack. So if you're someone that likes to open your toys or someone that doesn't care for repackages, this new Chaos Theory version is not for you if you already got this version. But if you didn't pick up this version, yet then it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and grab the chaos theory version and i almost forgot for anyone that does want it we will get the scan code for this red raptor as well but i assume that it's exactly the same as the one from the wave before I'm super happy to keep adding all of these new Jurassic World Chaos Theory toys to my collection. They are super awesome and I can't wait to get even more. With that being said, if you'd like to see where I got these new Danger Pack figures, then make sure you stay tuned to my next toy hunt video so that will get revealed for all of you. And also stay tuned to my channel because much more Jurassic World and Jurassic World Chaos Theory toys will be heading to my collection. The Jurassic fun doesn't have to end here, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my content. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and in my Discord server. The links are all in the description below. Check out more awesome Jurassic content here.